Yeah, still the 28th of December, Thursday. Got the first uh, white top coat on the tailgate. It's going to turn out real nice. Especially when I, what I'll do is wet sand it and then put on the second slash final top coat. More than likely. I'll see how it looks tomorrow. I had to open the front door and prop it open. Solvent fume is pretty thick in here right now. And turned off my big barrel heater and turned on my heat pump mini split in heating mode. I've uh, got the thermostat set on 70. That's how I'll leave it when I leave here till tomorrow. Get the building warm, help this paint cure out. And uh, anyway, after the second coat uh, gets hard. Then I go out and buff and polish to uh, bring the sheen up. And I like using just single part or automotive enamels versus multiple part paints. <clears throat> More labor. But, oh. Uh, you can do it out of a spray can if your auto paint store can supply those. And uh, less clean up, less room for air. And it, again, it's a single part paint, uh, no clear coat required. And uh, most everything is at least two part paint plus clear coat, uh, basically for labor savings. You shoot your base coat and you let it dry, it's actually kind of dull looking. And then you spray on the clear coat, that's what brings out the gloss. It's whatever you want to do, you know, it can be either or. You know, it's, uh, there's no right way or wrong way, it's just taking your time and getting a decent looking finish. And uh, again, paint doesn't really scare me if it don't turn out right, just sand it off and do it again. Ain't no big thing. I'm still waiting on the second hose for my uh, vacuum, leaf vacuum modification for my chipper. And it should be at the house day or tomorrow. I already got the little coupling I needed. I got my hose clamps already. And uh, yesterday I actually had to mow the little triangle of grass out front it's looking kind of ragged with cold weather weeds and also pulled the last of the radishes had an overflowing walmart bag when you include the tops and took those up the hill asked the office lady to distribute them and she said she would and uh, uh yeah Little broccolis are doing good. Got a bunch of baby broccolis. Little cabbage still making head. And uh, some of the cabbage still looking kind of puny. And I ain't seen the first cauliflower yet. I don't know about that stuff. But my broccoli's doing good. Another two weeks. If you don't get uh, killed by a hard freeze, I'll be able to cut some broccoli and take it to the house. And I like it fresh with ranch dressing. It's real tasty to me. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's coming along. And, uh, my glass polishing kit came in. There's not a whole lot to it, but when I get the paint work done, if my upper cab trim moldings ever come in, I'll get those painted and installed. And then I polish the driver's side window, uh, door window. Uh, exterior's got some scratches on it that, uh, I want to get polished out of. And, uh, YouTube says it's fairly easy. Just follow the instructions. So we'll see. And that's pretty.
pretty much it. Like I said, today's going to be a real light day for me. I'm not going to stay up here and watch paint dry. I go home and it's cool. It's 41 degrees out right now. I just can go back home and get back in my chair and curl up with a cat. So, anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.